Hmm. All right, y'all. Start of day seven. These are uh, Funyun flavored um, ruffles. Those are ruffles, right? Not lays. Yeah, ruffles. Got the little curve in them. Mm hmm. And two more of those left. I'm going to the Doritos. It's my home right now. Little futon chairs, two of these, and then a box with a pillow on top of it for my legs and for my, you know, calves and feet. But I usually sleep on my side, so usually, usually these two things will be good. Sitting on this one, and I'll be laying over there. Got some water. Got some water. It's an empty bottle. It's a Vegas Golden Knights collectible bottle. It's a pretty cool looking bottle, actually. We got it, um, I think got it in 2019. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I guess it's a 2018 rosé wine. If I remember right, I did drink it. There's still a little bit left in the bottom. So you can uh, open it up and still smell it. All right. All my stuff. collectibles stuff there and there is about twice as much as this eh, probably about the same as this in the backyard so I'll show you guys more later today while I move it God bless all right y'all I got my pillow best pillow I've ever had um pillow between my legs yes my pink blanket is pink and blue had the uh pillow down here at the end of the box I don't know what I think I was using that to dry my fingers last night I was eating some cookies and some chips and use it as my napkin last night <sighs> got my teeth in there can you see them can you see my teeth there's my teeth my teeths finished my juice last night had a banana like I said I had those chips and granola bar and <sighs> Day number seven, not where I thought I'd end up, but we move in uh, about 80-90% of my stuff to storage today, doing a little bit of organizing, I got all this stuff in this area, all this, this trunk, this stuff, these, this box, not that ugly cowboys thing, um, the table, I don't know if I'm taking the table, but... These boxes, this stuff, I'm going to leave some of this stuff here, obviously, so I can keep selling for the next 30 days and make some money. And I'm essentially out of here, like, April, I don't know, April 7th or April 8th. I got 30 days to get out, but I'll essentially be out in about two weeks. So, I'm going to take my time. Got a whole bunch more stuff in the backyard. I'll show you guys a video of that in a little bit. But for now, I'm going to go take a shower, and the storage place opens in 37 minutes. So... Gotta head over there because I'll be walking. See, ooh, great hair. I need still need a haircut. <sighs> I was exhausted last night. Took a sleep aid, took my meds, and crashed out around like two or three a.m. And uh, I think it was about two thirty. <sighs> God bless. All right, y'all, there's the brick wall. And I am out of here. I'm gonna run up here, jump that little uh, fence right there. There's our neighborhood. Notice, notice all the kids playing. Notice, oh, oh, they're all in school. Oh, 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 wow, what a concept. Idiots. All right, y'all, got the storage unit. Just came in that door. Life storage. Huge complex. So I'm going up to the third floor. The first floor is all the big units going in here. I think someone's gonna come out. See you guys in a little bit. All right, y'all. How's it going? Mission. All park. Mission chips. This is the backside of Albertsons. There's a storage place. Three stories tall. I didn't even realize it when I walked up. Big, big units on the bottom and all the 5x10s and 5x5s on 2nd and 3rd 
So I got a five by 10, it was $64 a month, or you could pay for two months, uh, $79 for the second month. Ooh, uh, this is the fifth penny I've found on the ground. Found four on the way here. Yes, I do pick up pennies. What's your time worth? My time is worth taking a second to pick up a penny. If I don't get it, someone else will. Anyways, uh, first month rent free, and then 79 for second month, and I'm hoping I only need it for about two months. So, should work out. Gonna, at court for uh, the disorderly conduct, April 11th, at the casino that got charged a half a million dollars for uh, abusing other guests, assaulting other guests, stalking other guests, uh, being uh, way too extra physical with guests, slamming me against the wall too. Stop resisting! Um, I'm not resisting. I literally, pretty much when you snatched my phone out of my hand and knocked it to the floor, I turned around and put my hands behind my back. And then they smashed my chest against the freaking wall. It's all on video. I hope I can get it all on video. I hope they fight it. I really, really hope they fight it. Because I, in my opinion, wasn't disorderly. Was I drinking? Yes. I was in a freaking casino. I had a freaking room there. I wasn't driving. I have no driver's license. Got a DUI two years ago. Just winning at life, y'all. So, got the storage unit. So essentially 40 bucks a month. <sighs> Going uh, back home. See the steeple over there? Right there. Live right behind there. Got egg works over here. Some other businesses over here. I thought about just setting my tent up right here. But that tent is huge. I tried to set it up last night. It's going to take two people to set it up. So, let's see if I can make this one. Wait. Wait. It says wait, I'll wait. Wait. Wait, wait. I gotta go across both, so. Um, walk sign is on. All right. Um, so yeah, it's on the third floor. Go right in the door. The elevator's right there. Get out of the elevator. And I'm like, around the first corner, around the second corner, it's right there. It's like literally not any big walks at all. I'll show you when I go back. But that lady was coming out of the uh, elevator with her cart, so I didn't want to keep recording. Because, you know, I respect people's privacy in private spaces. Not in public. And I respect those who give respect, too. So... Wait. So, on my way back home, got my Powerade. Didn't taste as good as I thought it was gonna taste. Island Burst, meh. And I got a bottle of water. Got my knee brace on, gonna be a long day. I'm gonna head downtown around four or five, help feed the homeless at uh, seven. Get there about 6.30 at the care complex. Get myself humbled and uh, move stuff out of storage, move stuff into storage. I can access it 24 seven, so. Got one of those little locks that it goes into the hole and then spins with the little circle key, one of these keys. And they're all different. One of these keys like are on uh, like Coke machines and stuff. So, got three of those, three keys. So. Plan is get everything out in the next two weeks and go down to uh, Laughlin, Nevada to uh, court April 11th and then go down to uh, Slab City uh, right after that. Anybody need a shoe? Anybody need a shoe? Just one shoe. So yeah, Egg Works, huge building. Huge building, but it's only one story. Maybe storage up top, I don't know. And then uh, there's attorneys over there. There's all kinds of shops over here. It's kind of like a little village. Got a, restaurants in there, cleaners, dry cleaners. Essentially, you wouldn't need to leave that one block area if you didn't want to. Several restaurants, several places to get stuff. Albertsons right across the street. Credit Union right across the street. So, nice little area. But I'll be glad to get out of here. 
go to Slab City till about mid-May, come back here, and then I'm flying out to uh, Virginia, going to trail days. So, going to trail days this year, it's three days, and then I'm either going to go south from there to uh, Springer or to Neal Gap, which is where I left off last year, or I'm going to go north to Katahdin, haven't decided yet, so... <sighs> nice little walk, nice day, a little bit chilly. I'll uh, see you guys in a little bit. I don't have anything else I can say. I'm homeless. Slept in the garage. I'm not gonna sleep in a garage. I'm not gonna sleep in a tent in the backyard. I mean, I'm gonna sleep in the garage until I find somewhere else, but got a friend that might have a room for rent, so. But literally only need it for like two weeks, so. Got two free nights downtown. Got free nights in Laughlin. Um, I think I have one or two free nights at Stations Casino too. So, got about a week of hotels if I need it. But, until he gives me the eviction notice, I might not go nowhere. Give me the eviction notice, I'll stay till the last freaking minute. Freaking idiot. Wanna argue and fight with me. Oh, he's the landlord. Oh, he's the property owner. Yeah, I've lived there for nine and a half years. I screwed up five and a half years ago, September of 2018. Everyone's just now figuring out, figuring it out though, in the neighborhood, in my house, etc. It's pretty much just Evie and I knew, and her kids knew a little bit of it. So, don't get drunk, don't get high, don't stay awake late, and fight your meds, and do stupid stuff. Be good, do right, not wrong. It's a huge Mormon church. Still have questions to ask them. You saw that in uh, previous videos. Their, exp their explanation was God, God is everywhere. So God inspired people to write other books of the Bible, but they called it the Book of Mormon. So Joseph Smith found these gold tablets in the ground. But only he could see them, and only he could read them. I don't know. And then they don't have any crosses. They don't focus on the crucifixion. They focus on um, the, res the resurrection. I can't remember. Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. If you're Mormon, give me your thoughts. I'm, I'm probably going to end up reading the Book of Mormon, but I'll be Christian until the day I die, because that's what I believe. One God, one Jesus. Jesus was God's son. You need to believe in Jesus. Not golden tablets buried in North America that only one guy translated. Not 66 books of the Holy Bible written by Moses and Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. End of days is coming, y'all. Be prepared. Okay, I'm getting off. I gotta jump this fence over here. Again. God bless. It's a nice backpack, ma'am. I know, isn't it? Can we carry that? That'd be better with uh, two shoulders. There you go, you're a hiker. You got this, and I'll get the trolley. So this is one car load. First car load, here we go. Out the third floor to the right, and then down to the second aisle and then left. Three. Three, one, one, six. First one on the left, right there. I'm a horrible driver on these little trolley things. Yep, that's it. It's five by 10. It's only five foot deep. All right, trip number two. This elevator is like hella slow. I'm holding this stuff from falling off the back of this uh, cart. Big old elevator. Someone just farted. See you in a little bit. <laughs> Jeez. I didn't know you were gonna do that. So you like jerked around the corner. 
<sighs> See you guys in a little bit. Two, that was two, two, uh, two loads. What are we gonna do? Another two or three loads. Gonna get something to eat though. It is uh, 12 17, March 25th. See you guys in a little bit. God bless. Uh, filming here. I wanted to delete that video off that I uploaded this morning. Started the upload and then went to sleep. All right, about to eat this. She made this for me. It's uh, hash browns, eggs, jalapeno, and uh, sliced turkey with some cheese and some seasoning and some sort of sauce. A couple of different tacos. I'm going to eat that right now. And this is what I'm currently doing. Al Casino Pompano. And cash all these in. Red Rock, Treasure Island. These are collectible, though. Uh, Sheldon Adelson, Venetian. Four Queens. They're like four of these. That's like 70 bucks right there. All these $1 chips that are still alive. Westgate, Golden Nugget, Park MGM, Sahara, Eureka, Aria, Riverside, and Laughlin. So when we go there, this is just a Bitcoin thing somebody gave me. But like, I just have a ridiculous amount of chips. That one I can cash out, that one I can cash out. All of these I can cash out. These ones I can't cash out. So that's like Little Creek, Shelton, Washington. We actually stayed there for five nights. But like Circus Circus I can cash out. Flamingo I can cash out. Hawaiian Gardens I cannot cash out. Casablanca's in Mesquite. I can cash that out. Dunes, Baccarat. I have a thousand dollar chip of one of those too. Sahara. See, that's worth more than face value because it's a 1996 chip. So it's worth about 10, 12 bucks. Silver City Casino. Obviously can't cash that one in. But anyways, got a lot of them. I'll show you guys some more. I'm going to eat this food. Uh, $1 gaming token. Riverside, I can cash that in. They actually still use these. So I can cash that in. Marina. Marina Hotel Casino. Obviously can't cash that in. So, got a lot of work to do. Another Don Laughlin Riverside. Let's see, it's like $19.99. Someone might actually pay more, more than face value, but I can get a dollar for it right now. I'll take it. Palm, uh, Palm Beach Kennel Club. No longer in existence. The Quad, no longer in existence. That's why casinos rebrand, so you can't cash in the chips and they make that money. Four Queens limited a thousand. You could probably cash it in, but it's limited a thousand, so it's actually worth more than face value. Token Suncoast, another one of those Don Laughlin. Alright, I'm gonna eat this. I'm hungry. God bless. Okay, I was gonna show you one more thing. Casino memorabilia. Beerbees. It's from uh, some casino. 2009 MGO. I don't know. There's some giveaway or something. I've had it for a long time. Somebody gave it to me in the Southern Nevada Casino Collectibles Club. Got all these prime hydration things. I probably got 30 or 40 of these. Be taking these on the Hapalachian Trail. Got a whole bag of them over here. And then this, this is full of chips as well. Mm. That's full of $1 chips too couple hundred of them in there so that's next see you in a little bit Whew. almost done with this my avoided driver's license <laughs> issued 12 27 2017 weight 210 <laughs> three years after i moved to vegas two and a half years after i moved to vegas that was back when i was not happy happy now beautiful day you know, record the neighbor's backyard there. You know, all that action in the backyard there. You know, here, let me zoom in this time. Here, here's all the action going on in the backyard. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> but they're watching. I know they're watching. Keep watching my videos. I'll be gone in about two and a half weeks. Going to Laughlin for my court thing April uh, 11th. And I'm going to Slab City April 12th to uh, mid-April, about a month. And then uh, I'll be going back to uh, Virginia to hike the Appalachian Trail. I think I already said that all to you guys. Let's see a little bit, a little bit. 
God bless. Are you gonna sit out here and eat with me? Aww. See you guys in a little bit. So, Las Vegas Hotel. If anyone remembers that one. So, can't cast that chip in, but. Can we get a bag to put those in? Taken down. Hooters doesn't exist anymore. Harrah's, Phoenix, Arizona. Eastside Cannery doesn't exist anymore. I mean, the building's there. Casablanca, Mesquite. That's a different one, though. I think we got enough to go up there. Harrah's Laughlin. Definitely cash that in. Arizona Charlie's. Used to play poker there on Decatur, and Stratosphere no longer exists. It's called the Strat now. So, these are the ones I can cash in that are still live chips. And that's just the dollar ones. You have to and that's just the $5. dollar ones. I still gotta go through the five dollar ones too. That is correct. Showboat Atlantic City, Caesars Atlantic City. Valleys, Venetian, but that's a rare Venetian. That one, and I got like a Blue Man Group one, Venetian, so I won't be cashing that in. Beau Rivage, Borgata, that's a regular Venetian and a regular Cromwell. Cash those in. You stack them back in there when you're done. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm going to work on it. Vicksburg, Harris Vicksburg. Fort McDowell Gaming Center. Got a lot of Colorado Bell Center inlays. Something Casino Cruise, Gulfport, Mississippi, Coda Casino, Grand Victoria, Rising Sun, Indiana, Trump Plaza. I got like three or four different Trump Trump coins. Treasure Bay, Biloxi, Mississippi. Do some blue ones. I had them all organized by white and blue. Bicycle, Harrah's, Las Vegas. I don't know if that's a special Harris chip or not, but I'm gonna cash it in. I used to deal poker there. That's an older Las Vegas, uh, Harris chip, so I'll keep that one. Mirage somewhat doesn't exist anymore. It's still Mirage, but I'm just gonna keep him. I played. I used to play a lot of poker there. Sam's Town. I used to deal poker there. I used to play poker at Mirage. Paris, one dollar. See if they have a new chip. Like I'll keep the older ones, but Paris. Casino, Morongo. Like I said, I have a lot of these Sam's Town ones. Because I used to deal, I dealt there for almost three months. Uh oh, down they go. Down they go. Down they go. Windstar, which is in uh, Oklahoma, Thackerville, Oklahoma, north of Dallas. Margaritaville is going out of business, so I won't go, I won't cash that one in. I could right now if I wanted to. They're not. Going out of business till the end of May. See, this is a rare one from 1998. The Samstown Rodeo, so I'll keep that one. Sahara, it's just a regular Sahara chip. Cash that one in. Horizon. Palms, which is a different casino now. It's still called Palms, but it's like Yamava now. The casino is Harrah's. It's just a regular one, but they might have a new chips so those come out and play ones might be uh done away with so i'm gonna see what their new chips look like and then i might not cash in any of those i do i do like my collection of chips lucky eagle an old caesar's chip atlantic city harrah's vicksburg Another Beau Rivage. I got a lot of Beau Rivage, but I've actually never been there. It's like my fourth or fifth one. I think I grabbed them because they were like three for two dollars or something like that. And I was like, are these live? And they're like, yeah. So I bought us all of them. They were Monte Carlo. I played in the poker room there the last uh, couple days they were open. Little Creek. I got a lot of those because we stayed there for five nights. It's an older Golden Nugget one. Their new ones don't look anything like this. Their new ones are all just flat. This one actually has like detail. Another old and older Golden Nugget one. Play a lot of poker at Golden Nugget. Flamingo might cash that one in, but all these older Golden Nugget ones I'm keeping. You can even see the different, different like text and font and stuff. 
you know. Westgate, cashing that in. I got all these commerce chips too. Keeping those until we go to Vegas, until we go to California. I got a lot of Riverside chips. Cashing those in when we go, even though I'm 86. She'll cash them in. Fremont, going downtown tonight to help feed the homeless. Cash all those in tonight. Just taking a break. Monte Carlo, Jerry's Nugget. We'll be right by there today. It's right by uh, River Cree. It's right by the care complex. It's about a mile south. Look at that. There's another Trump Casino, Gary, Indiana. That's like the, my fourth or fifth one. Resorts International, Lane City. I got a lot of Atlantic City ones when I went there. Hollywood, Florida. Hollywood and Aurora Casino. So, Vicksburg. Hooters. I got like three or four of those. But it's no longer Hooters. Hooters. It's called Oyo now. I have a broken piece of a Harris chip. I took it home one night when I was working. I asked if I could have it and they're like, sure. Here's an old uh, Caesars. It actually has a... I don't know if you can hear that. Actually has a uh, like texture on it, so it's a rare one with the uh, what you call it on the back. It's like different color. Never seen one like it. I played hundreds of hours at Caesars. Here's another older Aria. I can cash out Bellagio. I can cash out the Fun Chips. Anyone know what that's from? It's an old uh, Carnival chip, I believe. The Fun Chips. And two Westgate chips I can cash out. I'll keep this Caesars one. It's a rare one. Never seen one like it. This is an old uh, Bellagio chip. See how it's different than the newer one? Mm -hmm. What did I do with the old Bellagio chip? I had a Bellagio chip. Well, anyways, this one is different than the uh, regular Bellagio chip. There's uh, the new Mirage chips they came out with right before they closed and be rebranded. Like I said, you could probably still get those there. Silversmith, Wendover, Nevada. I want to go to Wendover so bad. It's a few hours north of here. This is an older uh, Sam's, Sam's Town chip, so I'll keep that one. Got to keep all these uh, commerce ones. Go cash those in. Keep all of these. Baggio, Mirage. Even I might be able to cash those in. Almost got the whole case empty. Win, cash that one in. Windstar, Treasure Island, look at that. I used to play Treasure Island a lot too. I just save them, save them for a rainy day. There's a Carnival Valor. Shogun Club, save that one for sure. Cash out these Treasure Island ones. I used to play a lot of tournaments and cash at a Treasure Island before they closed their poker room. That kennel Club. That's a Palm Beach Kennel Club. Venetian, but it's a, a rare one. Like I said, that's only the second one I've probably ever seen in that poker room ever. The Poker Room, which is, I think, just a novelty chip. An old Monte Carlo chip. Yeah. Then they have them in, uh, I think, Palazzo, too. Choctaw. Somebody got this one for me. You're the dog. I want to say John Beasley. Right, keep all those. Start loading these back in here to the left. You guys having fun enjoying this? Mohegan Sun. Wigwam. Colorado Bell. Isle Casino Pompano. Yeah. Avi. So this is a different Avi one than this other Avi one. Colorado Bell. I guess they're not as rare as I thought, but they're different than the normal ones. Stratosphere. A different stratosphere. See the difference? Alright, I'm running running out of room, running out of space. Did you get done eating? Yeah. Are you still on your onboarding for whatnot? Okay. See you guys in a little bit. I only got like three minutes of space left. Maybe like I can four. Just take this with me though. See you in a little bit. All right, y'all, load number three, Funko Pops, randomness. Got four of those chairs. Funko Pops. Funko Pops, more Funko Pops. 
Patriots floor mats. My mom just texted me, are you getting it done? Yep. Here you go, I got it. Nice catch. I hate driving these things. So glad they gave us this dolly to use though. This is a life storage. 64 bucks a month or two months for 79 bucks. See you guys in a little bit. Ooh, spooky. You ready? <laughs> Got a little close to me there, ma'am. It's out of my personal space. What are you doing? Are you trying to like watch that thing still? No, I'm trying to. You just hit lock. That's locked. It wasn't. It's unlocked. Now it's unlocked, but when it beeped, that's locked. Beautiful day, by the way. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. Very, very beautiful day. See you guys in a little bit. Um, some stuff outside still, and like I said, we need to combine some stuff still. So, ah! do one or two, one or two more loads today. Probably one. One more load today. Maybe two. No. I think one more will be good. We'll move the rest of the stuff to the garage and we'll combine some stuff. We'll do another load tomorrow. Another load today after that. Do a load every morning after we wake up. Shower, eat breakfast, eat breakfast, shower. Take a load. I'll probably take a load then come back and shower because we're gonna get all dirty and dusty and stuff. So, oh, security down there. Beautiful day, people out and about. A lot of people. They took out the McDonald's over here, put in a Charlie's cheese steaks. Delicioso. Charlie's Steakhouse, yeah, they took out the McDonald's, remember? Well, we normally come in the other door, remember? It's open over here. So. All right. What is that? That's a bunny and an orange. What is that, orange crush? And another bunny, I guess for Easter. That makes sense. What was the, what was the middle thing? An egg? Yes. I think it was supposed to be an egg. Eight grand for that side by side. Wow. Eight grand, and they're selling these at Walmart. This is like stuff they sell at Sam's Club, but it's four seater. Wow, that's nice. That's cool. You can get a used one for half that, maybe two or three grand. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. People are looking at me weird. And I just cut off that short little old lady. <laughs> See you guys in a little bit. All right, we're on a Funko Pop hunt. I got some uh, wild bird feed mix. It was like ten dollars and eighty-eight cents for uh, twenty pounds. Comes out to like fifty-four cents an ounce, or fifty-four cents a pound. And I got this bird feeder. It's like four dollars and eighty something cents or something like that. A couple of cat food for our uh, dying cat. A little uh, higher fat content. Some Drano and then some Nine Lives cat food. Looking for Funko Pops. Said F4. F4. Probably right down here. Got the Easter stuff. Do, do, do. Probably right here. Nope, Easter stuff. Seasonal. See no Funko Pops. Oh, little doggy. Little doggy. Hello, little doggy. Hello, little doggy. Is that a puppy? Yes, it is. How old? Uh, four months. Four months. Four months. It's cute. Yeah, thank you. you guys have a good day. God bless. You, you know where I can find Funko Pops, man? They said it was on F4, but this is F4, right? Funko Pops? Yeah, Funko Pops. Um, you'll mainly find them in electronics. In electronics? Okay. okay, thank you. She said electronics. It's in two, one of two places, or they're just all gone. So, that one I found, it was a Hawkeye, Hawk, Hawkeye in the glider or something like that. 
that. See you guys in a little bit. So this is the sports card collection they have. Pokemon sleeves, empty boxes. Merchandising vehicle, do not remove. <laughs> this one doesn't say do not remove. That'd be perfect for sports cards. It says this do not remove on this one. It says do not remove on this one. But not on this one, so that means it's free, right? Merchandising vehicle, Panini. Please do not remove. This one doesn't have it on there. This one doesn't have it on there either. Merchandising vehicle, please do not remove. This one doesn't have it on there either. It would be perfect for sports cards. So we got Pokemon, Trick or Trade, got Upper Deck Golf, way too expensive, Goodwin Champions, Metal Universe Golf, Pokemon stuff, Konami, Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic, which I did find some Magic the Gathering cards, Rich Card Holders, Ultra Pro for 20 bucks. And then some buy it now stuff. Looks like some Chronicles, draft picks, basketball, NBA, twelve ninety seven. I think. I don't know. Nothing worth getting. Nothing worth getting. Got some free boxes though. That's cool. He's, so he's gonna come back and be like, "Somebody took all my boxes, but you didn't put a thing on it." There's little itty bitty Funko Pops. Three bucks a piece. Toy Story. Pretty cool, but they are super small. And if you drop them, they just like fall apart. So. Evie yeah, had to go number two. See you guys in a little bit. God bless. So, I don't know if I recorded this last night or not. There's still one more suitcase. Air mattress, seat cushions, boxes, bowling ball speaker, the other half of the tent, well, the tent, sports cards. Need to repackage this. And this box over here with some bubble wrap. So it don't get damaged. Got a little dusty out here. That's fine. My uh, box for my juicer, gonna need that. More tubs, but this whole area, this whole area right here was full of stuff. That was the first two loads, three loads, and then two more of these red chairs. I think I got one more in the garage somewhere. She's gonna keep the DoorDash bags. We're gonna start DoorDashing, lunch and dinner, two or three hours. All right. We suck the, sucks to leave in this place. Nice pool in the backyard that no one ever uses. Looks like the pool cleaner hasn't come. Not gonna miss the big evil Mormon church. Well, I'd rather someone be Mormon than evil, but not evil. I take that back, I apologize. It's getting windy. Anyone need a huge Ravens poster? It's that big and it's like 12 or 15 foot wide. So, almost done. See you guys in a little bit. <sighs> Tired. Uh, we're gonna do one more load after this, so we're straight up the garage too. Okay. So let's go. All right, God bless. All right, y'all, load number four. Going in the elevator. We're on one. I guess I shouldn't push number one. We old freight elevator. <sighs> Load number four. What we got? One more tomorrow, maybe one more after that. So like two more? two more? Probably two more. So like six loads of the car, trunk, and back seat with the seats folded down. Anyone ever been there? Brooklyn Bridge. Anyone need some uh, casino chips? Anyone need a little Mickey plush? Anyone need, anyone need Funko Pops?
right, here we are. Here we are. Whee! I need to push the button. I need to push the button. Can you just go straight? No, well, this thing is really hard to steer. Uh, better push it hard, get through the bump. <laughs> tired. That was just four loads. I think we only got two more to do tomorrow. Very tired, still need a haircut. Say hi. You can have both rides tomorrow. You gonna be able to pull me out? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hope no one's out there. <laughs> Got my uh, pull wax, DW. Jeez. Oh my god, what are you doing? I was like, where are you going? Slow. Just drive straight. Why do you got a curve? It's like all over the place. Park it. Park it and I'll get up. Oh, that was fun. Oh, it feels good. Now we're gonna go home and rearrange the stuff in the Moving as a biz match. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh, it feels good. It's like no airflow in there. See you guys in a little bit, God bless. Holy moly, y'all, I'm almost done. A few bottles of water, that hat, that empty box, a few things on this table, this big, huge, heavy box. This empty box with some bubble wrap in it, the air mattress and that stuff over there. And the bike, taking it back to the garage. We've done four loads, probably got two or three more loads tomorrow or the next day, whenever we decide to do it. But we're gonna go, I'm gonna go get a room. I got two free nights, This the end of this month and I got two, she's got two free nights. So we're gonna stay there through Saturday, come back here Saturday and then go to church. And then essentially go back Monday and stay there Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And we're going to see if we can get some rooms in Laughlin. So I'll be here tonight. And then I'll be here Saturday and Sunday night. Might go Sunday night. I don't know. See what happens. I'm rock. I'm rocking. On the rocking chair out back. I'm exhausted. My feet are killing me. <sighs> A little windy now. I just want to get this done and go upstairs and lay down. <sighs> just found my Heelys from 1999 when I was 15 years old. 24 years ago. 25 years ago. First ever pair of Heelys. I think they were around 100 bucks. 80, 90 bucks. And then you had to get the wheels and they had to get a couple other things with it. It was over 100 bucks. If I remember right, it was like 110 or 120 after I was always. But anyone remember Heelys? I got pretty good at them. <sighs> Ready to be out of here. Ready to get out of here. Be out of this neighborhood. It'd be nice to be gone for four nights. Come back for a night or two and then be gone for. She says she's about to call Title Max. <sighs> Let's go back Saturday anyways, because I'm about to shave for church Sunday morning. So, you know, for some reason I didn't get to go yesterday. Because the devil and his demons wanted to uh, interrupt us, wake me up at, you know, wake her up at 9.38 in the morning. Wake, wake two other people up in the house. Ashley and I were already awake. All right. So, one more night here. Evie and I are okay now. As you saw, she was helping me. We hugged, we kissed, we made up. We made an agreement not to be angry with each other anymore. You know, if we have a disagreement, you know, get away from each other for five minutes. If I'm angry with her, I'll leave. Go cool down. If she's angry with me, she'll leave. Go cool down. Count to 10, anger management practices, all that stuff. So I'm just... <sighs> About two weeks till we go to Laughlin. She'll get the room at Riverside. I'm still 86th. 
I don't know, maybe I'll stay in a tent on the sidewalk and uh, protest with protest signs. Are you, you going to still 80, keep me 86 whenever you're getting sued for half a million dollars? Look it up. Riverside Casino gets sued for half a million dollars because security doesn't know how to do security properly. And, you know, illegally detains and illegally arrests people for disorderly conduct in a casino where people drink and they just didn't like what I had to say. I hurt their feelings. Oh! <laughs> I made them uncomfortable because half the security's there banging freaking cocktail waitresses and I called them out on it. Mm. So, the whole story is um, there's a girl there, she was a cocktail waitress, and I got a selfie with her. I said, Oh my god, you look like Harry Potter. I was drinking in the poker room. I got a selfie with her. Uh, a month or two later, she was in there again. We were in there, you know, we're, we go there when we stay there. We live in Las Vegas. I was like, Haley, and uh, I got a selfie with her. And then the third time, which was probably another month or two later, so this is over a five or six month period, three selfies. I got a selfie with her. And then she got off early. The poker room broke early. She was in a bad mood. Um, there's three bars open 24 7. So this is at like two or three o'clock in the room in the morning. There were two people at the entire bar. So I sat right between them. I'm like, hey, how's it going, guys? I mean, I'm drinking, whatever. I was, I'm waiting for the Cinnabon to open and da 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 da. And um, I, that, that was docking because I got pictures, picture with her, a selfie in the poker room. She didn't know the definition of stalking, just like people don't know the definition of words. So um, my wife was up in the room and security i went to a different bar security surrounded me and they're like you're 86 for stalking so i went back to the room i stayed two more nights and then we left i was 86 from the casino but apparently not the hotel i don't know I need to figure it out on that because we might stay there before uh my court date april 11th disorderly contact so so disorderly i've been to your damn casino 60 times in the last 10 years but this time i was disorderly because i'm filming because i'm videoing sometimes but, all right, rant's over. Anyways, long story short, uh, they investigated um, on 86th me. I went back, uh, came back to Vegas, went back again, and then they 86th me again after they got me for disorderly conduct. Just locked me in a cell down there in their little jail cell. So I swear it was like three foot by four foot with a little bench in it. I just stood there the whole time and talked nonstop. I was so pissed call them on their BS and then lo and behold about a month and a half later they get sued for half a million dollars for doing the same thing to two other people except they permanently damaged someone he's like injured for like the rest of his life and I can't remember what the other one I go read the story but two different people two different cases and gaming control sued him for half a million dollars so how many security guards could you have hired for half a million dollars you know how much training could you have got given to people about you know in one ear and out the other and you know learn how to freaking deal with idiot drunk guests who get in your face like officers you want to act like a security officer in your casino you want to act like a police officer you know they go through training you can't just hire people oh here's a gun and here's mace and here's your camera go at it no they need proper training to do those jobs in casinos Someone's stealing $20 from the cage. Shoot him, kill him. No, I don't think that's worth killing someone. You know, maybe if they have like $100,000, but even still, is that worth killing someone? It's horrible. Casino wants to protect their money. I get it, but what's someone's life worth? Yeah, no one needs to be stealing. I get that. I can see the comments coming. Oh, you know, they shouldn't be stealing. So, all right, I'm getting off here. <laughs> I'm going to bring the rest of this crap in. It's a garage. So, going down there Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday night. Back here Saturday. Hopefully go back Sunday, but probably stay here for two nights. Saturday, Sunday night, and then stay like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then we're going to Laughlin a day or two after that. So, see you guys later. God bless. What is these, your two tacos? Two of the four. The other two, are two, two of the four for who? We didn't want to come kind of my dad. Oh, for your dad. And she got two tacos. Meat and cheese only, two hard shell. 
for free. Two tacos, because we technically had four tickets to the game for, for two different areas. Yeah, it's okay. I wouldn't try and talk or anything. What is it? If we had essentially had two tickets for each, each of us. Yeah. yeah. One one for Hyde Lounge and one for Center Ice Bar. Wait, can I have that? It's broken at the bottom. It's broken at the bottom? Yeah. Broking? I'm gonna put them in my bag. Stop. I'm getting a video. Stop. I'm getting a couple hot and a couple mild. I'm putting them right there. So this is what you do when you go to when you go to uh, want your napkins. Can we speed this up? Yeah, I'm good. Here's your receipt. That's what you do when you go to uh, Taco Bell and you get four free tacos. You get a half a gallon of sauce too. That's her bag. That's just her bag. Napkins. Hey, why are you dropping stuff all over the floor? I will legit eat all four of these tacos. Two Doritos Locos tacos, two soft shell. I'll just pour it out like I did hers. She said it's broken at the bottom. It's broke at the bottom, and then she switched the word to breaking. Yeah, that's how you do it, baby. Dad, you want two of these tacos, a soft shell and a hard shell? Gotta get some no. of the salsa. We're taking those upstairs. That's how you do it right there. Catch up, fire. I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. That's how you do it right there. Sugar. I'm gonna open up my own uh, sauce and sugar store in Slab City. You said you didn't want any? It's just meat and cheese, right? I just don't like their meat. That's why I get the chicken or the uh, steak. I don't, ever eat their beef. I don't like their beef. I think their beef, like, is what mainly gives people like diarrhea and stuff. <sighs> he doesn't want his uh, all wheat. You don't want these? You want to put them in a bag then? And save them for later. Babe, I'm not taking those upstairs. Why? I have no sauce, first of all. Oh, okay. Here you go. Here's your Sprite. Grabbing a paper plate. Soft shell, hard shell. Hard shell, soft shell. You ready? This is how this a package arrived to me from... Uh, guy I bought some sports cards from. I don't think anything's missing. It's kind of hard to get in there, but you know, I could essentially pull some cards out. <laughs> she said, there's a couch in my house if you want to come try your luck in Florida. You can stay for as long as you need to. That's what she said for me? For me. Oh, for you? <laughs> there you go. And I'll sleep at the beach uh, two blocks away. We're watching this me, uh, uh, spot to stay at their house. The dark, the dark side of Into the Wild. Kyle hates hiking. See you guys in a little bit. God bless. So we're watching Vegas Matt. We just went through these cards. I got all of these out because I'm going to comp these. But I just added them up. We went through and counted them. And then I did some addition. And then she added up all the bigger numbers. Uh, 321 cards. I got for $240 shipped. And it probably cost him a good amount to ship this. Doesn't it say the weight on here normally? Nope, oh, sorry. Didn't mean to show the address there. I don't know. Point O two O cubic zone eight. No. Anyways, that's Robert's address in uh, Windermere, Florida. Whatever. Anyways, uh, Isaiah Spiller, Honeycomb. Nice card. 
forty dollar card. I'm gonna Google. I'm gonna eBay uh, comp all these tonight. Joe Montana. I don't know what variant that is, but it's like a silver with the uh, flames or something. I don't know. But twenty dollars. This one's uh, Steve Young Buccaneers. That's numbered uh, twenty one out of twenty five, as you see there. Antonio Brown. It's numbered uh, twenty three out of thirty nine. Uh, Nick Chubb, seven of forty nine. Uh, another Nick Chubb, 31 of 99, and then some autos. Hassan Haskins, Isaiah Spiller, Brian Arapko, number 98, Garrison Hurst, and this Justin Herbert. This was the only reason I'm doing this because it was in this like special sleeve. I've never seen a sleeve like that with white all the way around it compared to the other, you know, compared to the others that look gray, you know. So, a little bit different. I'm just curious how much that one is. The Justin Herbert, my house. So, 321 cards, $240 shipped. Can't beat that. And this is, you know, a good amount of money right here. But if I, even if I can sell them all for $2 a card, that's, you know, $600, $642. But then you got all these ones too. So, we'll see what that, we'll see what happens. I'll, uh, I'll let you know what they comp for. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna write them all down, comp them do like the last six sold or do like the last three sold or whatever and then uh, average it see you guys in a little bit watching vegas matt this is the box it came in <laughs> from freaking mario box 11 of 31 spins now watching vegas matt and if you notice the walls are different if you've been watching my last few videos so all the hoodies are mine, all this stuff is mine, all my Funko Pops, everything's put away. Oh, I need to get that uh, Patriot sign up there. But yeah, going to going to Slab City after my April 11th court date. See so you guys in a little bit. Took all that stuff down, took my Spider-Man, let's see, my Spider-Man was here, a couple other things were up here. This is all her stuff now. Dream catchers, no dream catchers. Apparently, oh uh, my gosh, they're getting so lucky. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, they just got another. They got Ace of Lovely Across. They got two more coins. Times they got, two, times two. See you guys in a little bit. Vegas Matt. You know he's got 400,000 subscribers. Some of y'all probably watch him, I'm sure. They got still got 16 spins left. So still watching Vegas Matt, but I just wanted to guys show you like the craziest freaking packaging job in the world and trying to cover up the addresses. Look at this thing. What are you doing, Aaron? What are you doing, Aaron? <laughs> what is this? Oh, uh, that's funny. At 10 cents, so. 1,200 times 8 at 10 cents. A lot. That's like, there's up to 4 grand. How many spins left? Like 8 spins? It was 960 bucks. Anyways, look at freaking Aaron's packaging. This was inside of this. <laughs> <laughs> what is inside of this? You gotta work on your packaging, Aaron. This is funny. I'm still opening it. it I think it'll be protected, though. For sure. More coins? Three more? Eight oh more games? Oh my gosh! 62 has got 12 games Yeah, he's now. gonna win like six, seven, eight grand. He's gotta get all of them. This is his most recent video. Oh my gosh, they only need one. It is currently 7.52 on Monday night. Buffalo, Buffalo! 1,200 times... Four forty-eight hundred, so another four hundred and eighty dollars. Come on! I just want to see him get that last one. I'll uh, I'll do another video at the end of this. See how much he wins. Oh my God, that's huge! So that twelve hundred times eighteen, I think, babe. Twelve hundred times sixteen. Look at all them buffaloes. Thank you. Just plug my fan in over here, or the fan in over here. Um, so anyways, inside that packaging was a washcloth. <laughs> Aaron. And inside that... Oh, because I got that candle. That's what it is. The candle. And she wrapped that in a trash bag. And she wrapped that in this other trash bag. Oh Babe, you need some trash bags? 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 You want to make sure it didn't break. <laughs> it didn't break. It arrived safely, Aaron. I think I accidentally stopped recording, but it was wrapped in all of these uh, 
uh, trash bags, trash bag, trash bag, and wrapped in another trash bag, and then I almost break it after it gets here. Uh, timber wick, so like a 15, 20 dollar candle. I think I paid seven or eight oh bucks for it. Oh my god, they got them all. They got all 15? Yep. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. They're already at 10 grand. Holy crap. 36 times 24. You've done it like twice, babe. Not, Not on a $30 bet. Yeah. That's massive. 36 times 24 at 10 cents. What is that? 36. 100 times 2400. 86,400. Nuh-uh. Oh, so another eight grand. Another almost nine grand. That's sick. 18,000. And they got like four more spins of 1,200 times whatever. That's sick. This is Vegas Matt. He's worth like $42 million. Just kidding. I'm keeping this. Oh, uh, one more. Yeah, multiplier. He's got two more spins left. This is what we watch, guys. This, Raven Reddington. Coin, coin, coin. That's huge. That's sick. No multipliers 32. though. 120 bucks times 32. So another like four grand. How much is that? Freaking Vegas, Matt. I'm getting you some more viewers, Vegas, Matt. Over 20 grand. No, 3,800. Like I said, about four grand. Golden shower. Yeah, golden shower. Stupid. Let's go. Come on. There you go, babe. I got a new candle. It's a dark spin. Right. Holy crap! Uh, 229,980. Oh my god. Sick. So what do you think Frickin' is, Vegas map. It's 15 heads since it was on the old the revolution. Well, we still have to do a Buffalo Gold collection. You think? So, Brandon was talking to her dad, and her dad said, well, if he's going and they're still together, then she won't be far behind him. <laughs> and Evie overheard him say that to Brandon. But he said it, like, really loudly, and then our door was cracked. It's our door, and our door was cracked, like, three or four inches. And she's like, what did he just say? And she's like, never mind, never mind, I don't care. All right, see you guys later. God bless. Thank you, Aaron, for the candle. Here we go. You ready? Mm -hmm. What's up? It's up. It's lit. It's a little windy in here. Get the fan going. There we go. Uh, Timberwick. Beautiful. So she was going through this bottom box and she like switched to this box. She's like, I don't like this box. I'm going through this box. It's some mini yeah, cards. I wish I hadn't because it's all like Patriots junk. <laughs> Patriots the junk. Of it. Jack Flaherty purple. It's like some of it's already sleeved. Oh, a Shaq. Oh, a Shaq rookie card. Oh, a slam dunk card. I thought it was a rookie card. 92, 93. I actually had that card. That's you. You're a joker. Yep. Joker, go pack, poker stars. Yep, you can sleeve those. I'm not wasting sleeves on those right now. You can. Mm -mm. You got two more coming, don't you? No, I haven't ordered them yet. Some old stuff, some new stuff, some new prism. Yeah, I see you, kitty cat. Yeah, I see you, kitty cat. She's like, fire! Wanna watch some cat TV? Yeah. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you. I just had to do First Amendment audits and ruin my life. Mm -hmm. They said, who is this guy? Who is this guy who films in public? How dare he? How dare he? <laughs> not, not amused. <laughs> but you love me, right? Yeah. Just because I'm videoing, don't be acting like you didn't give me a hug and a kiss I and did, you didn't I cry last you. night. I do and... love you, but it just, it's very, you're very frustrating. Okay, so we're going to go to garage sale, YouTube videos, dumpster diving YouTube videos, yeah. Slab City YouTube videos, you and are. Appalachian Trail YouTube videos. You are. Dumpster diving behind GameStop and Funko Pop stores, Walmart's Targets, GameStop's, makeup, makeup stores, Mac. What's it called? Mac? Ulta is the one that throws Ulta, stuff Ulta sells Mac. Anyways, um, I was going to find Cat TV for her. Watch. 
She's already waiting for it because she knows I'm going to do it. You can watch. I'm on YouTube recording on a video for YouTube. Searching Cat TV. Look, I only have to put in C. She knows I'm putting in Cat TV because she heard me say Cat TV. She loves this crap. I do too, honestly. Three, two, one. Nope, I don't pay for YouTube. I have a I have a set I set up. I got bird seed at the bird bath with a hummingbird feeder and I put I got bird seed today. What is going on? This is live? So let's see somewhere overseas. That one's lame. Here we go, 4K. Watch and then show meow. What is it, cow? Meow. She's got cancer. That's what the vet said. And she's lost a lot of weight. She's lost a lot of weight. 10, 11 years old. Get him. Get him, Callie. Yeah. Gonna get him. Come on. Get him, Callie. Uh oh, here comes another cat. Is that Izzy or Luna? Luna. It's our black cat. That's Luna. She's coming with me to Slab City. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Are you gonna get him? You can get the pigeon? Oh, there she goes. Just trying to figure out how to get up there. Trying to figure out how to get up there. Get him! Get him, Callie! All oh, the birds are fighting. Alright, before she damages the TV, I'm gonna stop it. Jack, man, it. There go all the cards. All right, what are we gonna watch, Raymond Reddington? What are we on, end of season six? Oh, the glare. The glare from her lamp. I hate Christian Lautner. Oh, blacklist, there we go. Season six, episode 18. See you guys in a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna call it a night. I'm done filming for the day. God bless. Uh, day number six is going up very soon. And this is uh, currently day number seven. God bless. Watch you some Blacklist. Really good show. God bless. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Big change is coming. Love you guys. God bless. Love you too. Love you too. What is this?